Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the bulk modulus. Bulk modulus is an important engineering property used to define the uh, material resistance to the volumetric stresses. So bulk modulus is generally represented by the capital B or the capital K and it is the ratio of the volumetric stress to the volumetric strain. So it can, I can explain this by considering this is in a cube and let's suppose the load is acting is if from the different direction on this cube. So due to the load acting on this cube in a compression way, so this object will tend to deform in this position. It will be squeezed down. As you can see, this, is, this will be the deformed shape of this object. So, there is a compressive chain in this object because of the compressive load. So, we can see here that there is a decrease in the volume of this cube. So, now let's consider that the force F is acting in different direction. It, it makes the volumetric stress acting on this object. So, its stress will be like delta P is equal to the force over area. Because the force acting on this area, so we can call it that the stress will be force per unit area. Similarly, a force per unit area in this way and force per unit area in this way. So we can call it the, that there is a stress acting on this object. So it will be the volumetric stress. And I can write this in this way that the delta P. It is a bulk modulus. So delta P is a volumetric stress. Now, the volumetric strain. The volumetric strain is the ratio of the change in volume to the original volume. I can represent the volumetric strain that it is the ratio of the change in volume divided by the original volume of this object. How much change is occur in this cube by compressive forces? So I can put the volumetric strain here, change in volume divided by the original volume. So now, the here I put the negative sign because the compressive loaded compress the object so that's why I put the negative sign because the object is squeezed down from all the position, from all the direction. So that's why I put the negative sign because compressive force is acting to squeeze this object. So we should must put the negative sign in this formula. Now I can modify this in if this is moving in the upward. To simplify this, so it will be negative and V dot delta P over V delta V. Where this is the volumetric strain. And this is the volumetric, volumetric stress, this is, and this is the volumetric strain. So the ratio of these two is known as the bulk modulus. Hope you guys understand the concept of the bulk modulus. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.